Turning Point with Frank McKay is brought to you by Atlantic Honda, New York's auto giant, and Herman Katz. Can Jimmy and Klein, property tax attorneys and advisors. We are back with Turning Point with our special guest, Dina Lohan. Dina, before the break, we were talking about misconceptions of you and your family. Uh, Lay it out here. Let clear the air. Oh, gosh. One of the biggest misconceptions, I would say that we live in Hollywood. We certainly don't. I live on Long Island. My son's in a Catholic school out here on Long Island. And um, I have to pick him up at a soccer game at 5 o'clock, so I don't know what time it is right now, but I'm kind of rushing. Um, and that's, we live a normal life, and we're entertainers, and we entertain. And we certainly don't do it for press or tabloids or ridicule or, you know, Lindsay's made so many people happy with her film and, and I was a dancer and I love being on stage performing and that's what I've done and, and you know, Allie's modeling now and, and we just love what we do. It's just, and, and we have to work. <laughs> I have to pay the bills. I have to, you know, I'm a working mom, single mom, so I have to, I have to work as well. And, I mean, you get brutalized in the press, but let me ask you this. Is there something that you've done that you wish you hadn't done? Something you can take back, take some responsibility for? Um, I think everything I've done is a learning experience for me, so I, I don't really look backwards. I always am a positive thinker, so I go forward, so I don't really think so. Let's go back to the reality show that you had, Living Lohan. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the experience like? I'm going to put your, your younger daughter in the spotlight, and, and she enjoyed it? Um, yeah, she actually, it was, it was very odd for us. The reason why I did it was to fix the misconception of the public. Um, and I was executive producer, so I had a lot of control with Buna Murray, who was wonderful. They do the Kardashian show as well. Um, but they wanted me to do, uh, and at one point they wanted me to do things that uh, we ended it because, you know, they wanted us to, to go a little off track that we wanted to do, almost kind of set up the reality. And I... I I didn't want to do that because that's not why I got into doing it. On a reality show, the producers of that show are hoping for hardship, basically, right? They're hoping that Lindsay gets into trouble. They're hoping that Allie gets into They hope that you have a fight with Michael and that something happens. That's good TV for them. That's disturbing, right? That you. For me personally, other people may like that. You know, that's uh, you've seen other shows that, that that's all they do. You know, and that's that's what worries me about the younger kids getting into that because they don't know the game yet. And they'll just sign a contract or they'll just say, okay, and let me take advantage of. And that bothers me as a mother first. And knowing the business and managing them, I could steer them in the right direction. And that's what I'd like to do. What kind of street response do you get? Do you have people heckling you on the street or cheering Actually, you on? Actually, this is a really, really good question because I only have positive response. So many younger children... You know, I, I got caught up in reading all the negativity and publicists would send it to me and I'd be like crying and, you know, I, I was, I, a friend of mine said, you know, put it in your rear view mirror and I said, well, you know what, it's also, there's an Italian expression, if you throw enough pasta on the ceiling, something's going to stick. Well, if you have enough negativity and subliminal seduction, you, people are going to believe some of it and that's what hurts us. So if I can change that and not listen to it, but I certainly need to do shows like this to educate. Because without me speaking personally, no one's going to know. And no one's going to know who we are. And they're going to... Now at least I have a voice. And now they can judge me. And whatever they want to think, they can think. And that's fair. Uh, you mentioned off camera about Michael Jackson's death. Mm -hmm. uh, that there was a tweet coming from Dina Lohan. And you had... I think it was on Access Hollywood or... or I believe it was Access well, let me Hollywood finish. saying... You didn't have a, a Twitter account at the time. I didn't even account have account a Twitter time. account. Thank God it was positive because we'll get death threats. I loved Michael Jackson. It was horrific what happened to him, but God forbid it was something negative. I I have... I had to... My, my Twitter, my son set it up for me, and they, they helped me with that because I'm, I have to educate myself more in that area because I try to stay away from all of that. There's... I had to have real, at real Dina Lohan because there's a woman out there with my name that has 17,000 followers that I now have to go to a company to get all the fake me's off. And it's not just myself, it's my children, you know, it's, it's other people's celebrity, you know, they're, they're young people. It's, it's fraud, it's fraudulent. I, I well, no question about and that. There's no, there's no law on the internet. Identity theft. Either. Yeah, but it's very difficult to prove. We'll be back with Dina Lohan. Is she growing through the adversity? Tremendously. She's, it's been hard, but we're, we're going to be okay. We're like the little, little engine that could. 
Turning Point with Frank McKay is brought to you by Atlantic Honda, New York's auto giant, and Herman Katz. Can Jimmy and Klein, property tax attorneys and advisors. Turning Point is brought to you by PC Wealth Management of Morgan Stanley Smith Barney and the law firm of Duffy & Duffy, protecting the victims of medical error. Welcome back to Turning Point. We're here for our final few minutes with Dina Lohan. Dina, what was the turning point in Lindsay's career? Oh gosh, the turning point as far as, I think getting away from the, neg the negative press, which she was going through, um, she was with an agency that kind of stopped believing her at the time. And, and they were like, listening to, you know, Hollywood's a very, very tough town and it's a very small town. Um, and you have to know how to play. Hollywood, just like any other. If you're a lawyer and you're in a firm, you have to you have to understand the dynamics of that. So I opted to take her one day quickly from one agency to another, who put her in, got away from blockbuster films, put her in indie films, and you know that's where she got to work with the Meryl Streeps and let her acting, not a lot of money at all, but just she could work her craft, and that was the turning point in her career, which showed people. I mean, she was amazing in Parent Trap and all the the big blockbuster films she did, but it was a machine, you know, and, and Disney was wonderful to her, but she got to work then with Meryl Streep, you know, um, Jane Fonda, and she just got to work with so many other, such an eclectic group of, of older, old-time actors that really, really appreciate the craft and not all this other garbage, I'll call it. Is she growing through the adversity? Tremendously. She's, it's been hard, but we're, we're gonna be okay. We're like the little ch ch little engine that could. I said, I'm not gonna read Cinderella to my grandchildren one, when I have them one day. I'm gonna read the little train that could because you have to keep moving forward. You can't live in the past. It's just not gonna Are you an optimist? You. Die hard optimist. Well, you're a Almost mom. Almost to a fault, I think. Well, you're a mom. Maybe. So this is a, a tough question, especially an optimistic mom. Do you, do you predict a happy ending with Lindsay? Uh, that's a that's a very odd question, but I predict a happy ending for all of us <laughs> in the world. <laughs> you know, that's I guess I am a really big optimist. Yeah, that's the only way I, I was raised to to think. So, and listen, it was great having you. Thank you. We loved having you. You're wonderful, and we'll we'll hopefully have you soon. God bless. Our special guest today on Journey Point has been Dina Lohan, mother of Lindsay Lohan. And she is going into the child star producing business once again, and you'll be managing the next Lindsay Lohan somewhere along the line. Thanks for joining us.